Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been accused of seeking to damage the royal family's reputation in the USA and bruise the US-UK special relationship with their racism allegations in their Netflix docu-series. The daughter of late U.S. Senator John McCain said what was initially meant to be a tell-all show has turned into a political campaign designed to smear the royal family on the international stage. With three more episodes to go, Ms. McCain fears the Sussexes could durably harm relationship between Britons and Americans. Meghan McCain told GB News, This is clearly a coordinated, highly well-executed hit job on the monarchy. If you are an American and you don't know anything about the royal family and you don't know anything about the monarchy, you're going to think that the monarchy is the most racist bastion of any kind of entity that exists, that it's basically like a clan meeting. That is their whole premises, the big part of their show, which is just how much racism was directed at Meghan Markle, how much racism was directed at their family. Meghan McCain, who grew up in politics with her late father U.S. Senator John McCain, said she can spot a smear campaign from miles away. She added, As far as I'm concerned, this is a very long political ad against the monarchy designed to make Americans hate our greatest ally, the UK. The 38-year-old American TV personality branded the Netflix series despicable, adding that Netflix should be ashamed of themselves. Her concern is that UK-US relations could be politically damaged as a result of the allegations against the royal family made in the Netflix series. She said, I think people are really missing the point that this could have larger political damage for both our countries. Meghan McCain, described as one of the world's top conservative voices said in her U.S. Daily Mail column that the Sussex's Netflix series is an American-style political hit job. As far as documentaries go, it's trash, one-sided, vicious and manipulative. As far as the propaganda goes, it's brilliant. Writing in her Daily Mail column, Meghan McCain added, It could have been produced by a campaign operative a dirty trickster, hired to tar their political opponent with focused group TV ads and sophisticated smears. Like in the UK, the first first half of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's docu-series has received some negative commentary in the US. Niall Gardner, a foreign policy expert and royal family enthusiast, believes Americans are now quickly turning against Harry and Meghan. They will be popular with the liberal left-wing elite but increasingly unpopular with the American people. They will become isolated in the US and will be as unpopular here as they are in the UK. He told Express.co.uk, Americans don't like vicious attacks on the royal family. The monarchy remains extremely popular in the US. Constance Grady, Vox's culture senior correspondent, repeated the claims made by other royal commentators. The story of Harry and Meghan is by this point quite familiar to the general public, and we already know exactly what their perspective on it is. If either of the principal parties has any new thoughts to share, they don't make it into this new series. Prince Harry and Meghan were mocked on Saturday Night Live during an opening monologue by comedian Martin Short who hosted the show alongside actor Steve Martin. He said, you know Steve, we are like Harry and Meghan. No one's rooting F. 